You know, cybersecurity is really an issue that has emerged very rapidly on the global stage. Uh, cyberspace is a new arena in international relations. Uh, it, it's kind of like at the dawn of the nuclear age. This was a new kind of capability. No one even knew how to talk about it. Uh, no one had a common vocabulary for it. We're now at that point in cyber issues. Uh, people loosely use terms like cyber attack, for example, but mean extremely different things by it. Uh, so this is an area that is very rapidly changing relations of governments to populations, very rapidly changing capabilities for things like espionage, very rapidly moving into a realm, as we saw with Stuxnet, the virus that was used to denigrate Iran's nuclear program. So moving into a stage where actual results can be produced and capabilities of governments. And we have no way really to figure out what the ground rules should be how we talk to each other about it. Where are the dangers? Where are the areas where we can make progress? Uh, it's partly to fill that gap that we wrote this report. Well, you know, cyber uh, issues have loomed large very rapidly in U.S.-China relations. In a sense, uh, in the cyber realm, each country's worst caricatures of the other country's intentions come to the fore. Uh, they are stealing our data. They are robbing our, com our companies. They are leaping ahead in technology because of theft from the United States, et cetera, et cetera. From their perspective, uh, they are much more vulnerable than we are. Uh, they don't know what we're doing there because we're so much more capable at cyber intrusion than they are. We don't leave traces as they often do. Uh, so each side looks at what is occurring in this realm and says, oh my God, there is a massive threat looming out there, and I have no idea how to deal with it. And we happen to be at a point in the cyber arena where offense trumps defense almost across the board. In other words, almost no matter how good you are and how careful you are at protecting your information, a, an advanced persistent effort by serious capabilities on the other side will eventually penetrate your system uh, and make off with what they want to get. Uh, so this is now a period where images of each side are growing extremely negative. The level of uh, emotion over it, I won't say hysteria, but sometimes it borders on that, has grown very high. Uh, we need to figure out a way to talk to each other. Part of the problem is this is such a new space that in each government, China, the United States, and let me say other governments around the world, uh, we aren't even organized to deal with this issue well. There are different agencies that deal with parts of it who don't coordinate much with each other and don't know what each other are doing. So if you want to talk about it, it's even difficult to figure out who to talk to. So we are in early days, but we've got to move ahead, and our report hopes to provide a bridge from now to a much more effective uh, means of talking about this in the future. Both sides approach this with a lot of fear, uh, and both sides approach it with a lot of distrust. Uh, so I think that you need to begin, first of all, by recognizing that the biggest initial stage has to be to build some mutual trust, to build a common vocabulary. You do both of those in part by identifying issues where our interests actually line up quite well. For example, there are uh, kinds of activities that are considered to be criminal in both societies. Uh, you know, uh, child pornography, human trafficking, those kinds of issues. Both governments want to stop this. It, both of those issues are issues that have a significant uh, uh, cyber dimension to them, and that cyber dimension makes them international. Uh, so we ought to start by dealing with some issues where we agree on the nature of the problem, and we can begin to figure out how we talk about the cyber dimension of this problem in a cooperative fashion. Uh, I think we ought to stay away from things that we know from the start are not solvable. Uh, one of those is espionage. Uh, every government throughout history has engaged in espionage whenever it can. No one's going to stop that. Cyber is simply a new set of capabilities to do it. If we try to address how do we stop the other guy from engaging in, ex in espionage, we're going to fail, so we might as well not address it. If we try to address uh, freedom of speech on the web, frankly, we're going to fail because we just simply have very different views of what the web is all about here. So we ought to begin with issues that are of common concern, where we can begin to talk about a common vocabulary. We can begin to talk about how do you address things in the cyber realm and be effective. 
what's the role of ISPs, what's the role of national policy, what's the role of global governance, and so forth. Uh, and uh, on that basis, begin to build some mutual trust, and on that basis, begin to take up more sensitive and difficult issues and see if we can begin to make progress there. This is going to take quite a while. Therefore, you had better start now.